Hi everybody, it's Kim Bergen Jackson, administrator at Oak Knoll, and I'm taping on 12 27 23. The end of the year is coming up quick before you know it. I wanted today to give a shout out to our dining services team who served a beautiful um, brunch on Christmas Day. I know we saw well over 200 people. So thanks to Bruce and his team. And I want to give Bruce extra credit because this is the first Christmas he took off since he started this job. So kudos to Haley Bergen Jackson for being the keeper of the clipboard this year uh, and giving Bruce the day off. So uh, I heard the food was delicious. I have to admit I didn't eat any of it. I was at home cooking, but um, it's a wonderful day and I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Uh, we're now uh, coming out of the Christmas season, out of Hanukkah, out of Christmas into Kwanzaa. So if you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa everybody. Um, that is my update for the holidays. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to wear Santa shirts for another year, but they're, they're still there. I just have them in the wash. Um, let's talk a little bit about COVID and give you some updates in our community. So COVID numbers have been trending up for a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a couple of months, you might even think. Um, it's very typical during the holiday season as people are traveling and getting together that the numbers go up. There is a new variant in the news. Uh, that was not part of this most recent vaccine update. And so you can be up to date with your vaccines and still get COVID. So we have um, 10 independent living residents total on campus who are experiencing COVID um, at Oak Knoll East, at the main campus, and at 1UP. So the cases do not seem to be connected in any way. The dates of the symptom onset are variable. Uh, so I can't really say for certain, but I don't think the cases are connected. We also have four staff currently who are out with COVID. Um, they are all located at the main campus. So, and one resident is hospitalized, which is new. And it's that new variant, so it may be a little... Uh, people are showing a little bit more symptoms. So I am encouraging everybody to mask if you're out and about. Um, the prevalence of COVID is everywhere, of course, and it has been for a long time, but uh, it seems, seems like it's just a little bit increased right now. So I encourage you to wear masks if you're out in public and uh, you're feeling anxious. I'm not closing down any dining rooms. We're not stopping any activities. There's a New Year's Eve party at East tonight and another one tomorrow, I think, at the main campus. So Continue to go about your business and have fun living your lives, but be cautious. If you're nervous, wear a mask. Uh, we're not mandating masks for anybody at this point, but um, we might mandate them for staff sooner rather than later. We'll just see. So again, if you have any symptoms, uh, even if you don't think you've had a COVID exposure, um, test. So you should be able to get tests still. So that's my COVID update. Influenza activity in the state of Iowa is up as well. However, it's the season, tis the season for influenza. We don't have any cases of influenza at Oak Knoll that I know of, and we don't have any cases of RSV. So just a couple cases of COVID that are um, hopefully uh, mild and will return to baseline in 10 days. That's all I want to say about COVID. Now I'm taping a special edition video this week. I'm in the dementia simulation apartment. What is that you say? Some of you have seen us sort of hanging out um, in the central building by apartment 309. And that is because Cam Atwater, Lindsay Reed and I um, participated in this educate training, um, dementia live training. And so what we've been offering to the staff for the past three or four months is an experience of what it might be like to live with dementia. Um, so I'm going to show you the apartment and walk you through what we've been doing. Okay, so here we are in apartment 309. I'm not going to show you everything because there is an element of surprise to this simulation, but we'll walk through the living room. So what happens is um, we wear gear. We'll have people wear gear that simulates uh, vision changes in aging, simulates tactile changes in their fingertips by wearing gloves, and then we have headphones that play a lot of distracting and confusing noises. While you're wearing all the gear in the apartment, you're asked to complete some household tasks. And then the most important piece, I think, and the most impactful piece is the time we spend after the uh, event to um, talk about what happened. Let's go into the bedroom.
The apartment is set up as if it's your apartment and you've been living here for 40 years and then we ask you to complete some tasks like make the bed. Um, when that time is over with, we stop the experience. It's called the Dementia Live Experience or the Oak Knoll Dementia Experience. Then we uh, come together in the living room and we talk about the feelings associated with the simulation and how it made you feel to have all that gear on and try to complete tasks in the hopes that we are creating an empathetic experience to build empathy among the staff for our residents who are living with dementia. Here's the great news. At the end of this week, we will have trained over 300 Oak Knoll employees uh, and we are gonna open it up to the public. First dibs on this uh, experience is residents and families of Loft and Health Center residents. Uh, so we're going to uh, tell you more about that in the memo this week. You can sign up for the experience. Uh, we we'll limit the number of people in the apartment uh, and it is, it's really truly one of the best experiences I've ever experienced as a nurse working with older adults and how it explains the complexities of living with dementia and how hard it is on a daily basis. So I'm really hopeful people will sign up and um, we're working with the University of Iowa to try to get the College of Nursing and the uh, School of Medicine, College of Medicine, to participate with their students as well. But first, we're going to work on families and residents. So stay tuned to the memo. There'll be a note uh, and, an, and a way for you to sign up to participate. And I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks.